Hey guys and welcome back to my FPL strategy. Before looking ahead to the upcoming game week, let's take a look at how my team performed for game week 22. Burnley suffered their fourth consecutive defeat, losing to Chelsea by three goals to none. Despite Pope having a difficult afternoon, the English keeper did manage to record five saves, earning one additional point. A decent display at the back with Liverpool and Sheffield United keeping a clean sheet, both recording their eighth clean sheet of the season. However, Southampton got their revenge in a 2-1 victory against Leicester City. In midfield, my premium asset delivered, Sala recording assists against Spurs, whilst Kevin De Bruyne picked up two assists in a 6-1 victory against Aston Villa. However, Madison and Grealish both blanked Grealish picking up a yellow card in the second half. And up front, birthday boy Captain Barley fell to score but did pick up an assist for the opening goal against Southampton. And Menace blanked against Newcastle in the 1 1 draw, but the saving grace was Rashford scoring two goals and collecting maximum bonus points despite playing less than 60 minutes. So in the end for game 22, I've got an average score of 57 points bang on this week's average, but it wasn't enough to see a green arrow, seeing a slight drop in ranking. So moving on to my transfer thoughts for the upcoming game week, with two free transfer at my disposal and in order to beat the price rise, I've already made one transfer, with Jimenez blanking for three consecutive weeks and Ng's great form becoming too hard to ignore, I simply had no choice but to bring the English striker in. In addition, bar game with 25, Southampton have a good run of fixtures, so on paper bringing in the Saints striker feels like a no-brainer. For my second transfer, I'm likely to bank the transfer in prep for the double game with 24. My bus team is currently set up as a 3-4-2 formation, with De Bruyne as captain, but I am tempted to play Cantwell over Rashford, who's currently yellow flagged and faces Liverpool next whereas Count was up against out of form Bournemouth at home. Like always, my team is not locked in, but I will announce my final team selection on Twitter, so be sure to check me out there. Details in the description below. And of course, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit the like button and get subscribed. Otherwise, this is my FPL strategy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.